how you guys doing? Coming to show with another video. Um, this one's gonna be about something I have talked about before, handling uh, mountain grades. Uh, the only difference is now I have an automatic truck. Um, one of my biggest fears dealing with the automatic truck was how I'm going to handle uh, grades, considering you don't choose which gear you wanna be in, it, it chooses it for you. But after driving it for a little while and handling a few grades here and there, come to see how effective the truck is. Um, I think pro, the pro and the con of having an automatic truck is that it makes you, it, it, it chooses which, uh, it chooses which gear it wants to ride in. Now that being said, it does choose for you, but at the same time, it is also, it is also very efficient at choosing that gear. As you can see right now, I'm uh, on Fancy Gap. Typically, what I would have done in a manual truck is, shit, at whatever speed I want to sh uh, drive down in, I'd go to the uh, ne another gear, which should have that speed at its maxed out end, which would have it at probably about 1,700, 1,800 RPMs, like I explained before, because that's the most effective range that for RPMs to be in whenever you're using the uh, engine brake. Right now, the truck will choose the gear. So basically, let's say I'm right now I'm doing 65 miles an hour. Um, has the grade hasn't really really started too much, so don't worry. That's why I'm doing 65. Although you can get away with doing 65 on this grade, I personally choose not to do that because faster you go, the more you have to ride your brakes. Now, in an automatic truck, when you tap the uh, brake to use the engine brake, what will happen is it will start using it at whatever RPM you're at. Once it gets down to a low enough RPM or the truck can sense that the engine brake is effective but it could be more effective at a lower RPM or a, or a higher RPM at a lower gear, what it will do is it actually downshift for you and it will shoot the RPMs way up and it will it will allow it to uh, go way up and use the engine brake at that, uh, at that specific gear. Like right now, it, the truck can sense that I want it to slow down a little bit. So right now I'm doing 65, a second ago it was in uh, 11th gear, but it was all the way up at like 1800 RPMs. So I tapped it again, you'll probably hear it going in the background. Right now I'm coming down at 1800 RPMs, 10th gear, and it's holding me right at 63, 64 miles an hour, and actually I'm getting slower. This, 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 the engine brake in this truck is very, very, very effective. Um, actually, I would say it's more effective than having the engine brake in a manual truck because this, this truck will force itself to use, uh, it will force itself to do what it needs to do to get you to slow down. Um, so yeah, that's that's really just, that, you know, it's not gonna be a long, long video. This is honestly just what I wanted to show because this is probably a big fear of other drivers who spend other a large amount of time or the entire time driving in a manual truck. So you're they're probably thinking, oh my god, I have to get an automatic, you know, how am I gonna handle the grade? And uh, I mean hopefully you'll come across the video and you know you'll see that it's, it's really not that bad because that was that was the biggest fear of mine uh, getting this uh, automatic truck was that it will uh, it, will, it won't be effective going down mountains because you know how if you can't choose what gear you want it to be in, how in the world are you going to allow it to slow down or get it to slow down if you can't make it go any uh, you know can't make a, the gear go lower and have a higher RPM? But yeah, it's it's working out right now, um, and the, also the braking effectiveness on this on this truck is very good, very 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 good. Uh, as you can see, they're doing construction on that uh, runner eight truck ramp. Usually, truck ramps are open nine nine times out of ten. If the ramp is being worked on, that means somebody had to use it and they're like, they're fixing it. It's allowed to be open again. But as you can see, they're fixing this ramp right here. This, is, I believe, that is either the last runner eight ramp on uh, Fancy Gap, which I'm on right now, or um, there's one more after. But yeah, Fancy Gap is right on the border of Virginia and North Carolina. If you ever want to know where it's at. I-77, like the last like seven to eight miles of Virginia. Like literally, once you get off Fancy Gap, you're gonna go by exit one, which has the loves at it. 
and then you're gonna cross into North Carolina. So yeah, as you can see the sign right there says North Carolina Welcome Center, like two miles. And then you probably see it in the background, love sign with the uh, with the McDonald's and the subway in it. Also, be advised, just a personal tip, if you're carrying a heavy load and you feel like stopping, that is one of the worst places to stop at. Uh, if you, because once you, as soon as you get on the interstate, you have to immediately start climbing fancy gap going up the other side. So like the, the you get on the interstate and it's like boom, you're right there climbing the mountain. The, the, it's built right at the foot. So just heads up that um, there's a, uh, once you once you start getting the fancy gap, if you absolutely have to stop at the loves, then go ahead and do it. But if you don't really need to stop, you don't really, I wouldn't recommend it because you're gonna catch hell trying to climb this big old mountain coming right off, uh, coming right into the interstate. You're already going like 25, 30, 40 miles an hour, and you're gonna hit this hill, this mountain trying to climb it. It's gonna kill your heart, it's gonna kill your speed, and you're, you're just gonna be in a world of hurt. So once you can come into this mountain doing about 65, 70, it's gonna give you enough momentum to be able to get up it a little bit before you have to downshift a lot and start getting using more of your gears to pull the weight versus just starting in a lower gear, you're gonna be fighting to get up the mountain the whole time. And it's also going to, uh, it's also gonna make your truck overheat a lot faster too. So yeah, like I said, you pass the loves, and that's the rest area, and boom. As you can see, welcome to North Carolina state line. So like literally, the mountain is right there on the border. So yeah, um, you guys have a great day. Short video, just wanted to explain driving a mountain grade in an automatic truck. All right, have a great day.